In our changing climate, the Biden administration just revealed a sweeping new plan to cut greenhouse gas emissions from the nation's power plants. And energy industry groups are already fighting back this one. Skylar Henry explains what could happen and how it could help fight climate change. The proposal would limit planet warming emissions from future power plants, but also for the first time from existing plants, which generate about a quarter of U.S. greenhouse gas pollution. So it's clear that we've reached a pivotal point in human history. Speaking at the University of Maryland, the head of the Environmental Protection Agency says the plan will protect populations most affected by climate change. It will bring substantial health benefits to communities all across the country. The proposed rule would cut carbon dioxide from the atmosphere, roughly equivalent to the annual emissions of 140 million cars, a change the EPA says would prevent 1,300 premature deaths each year, as well as more than 800 hospital visits and 300,000 asthma attacks. To sell its climate change policies, the Biden administration is making the case that it's not about politics, but an obligation to future generations. It's about uniting as a society, as a nation, as a people, for the greater good of humanity. The plan would force many existing power plants to adopt new technology to capture emissions, and it quickly drew protests from the energy industry. The trade group America's Power claims it's designed specifically to cause the premature closure of coal power plants and will jeopardize grid reliability. Republican-leaning states are already promising a legal challenge, meaning the battle for cleaner air could get messy. The EPA anticipates the proposal will cost the power industry over $10 billion, but that it would eventually yield health and climate benefits of around $85 billion.